What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out the long-awaited Tunic. The embargo is finally down, the game is finally out. I don't know how I feel about it. This is one of those games that like I got to preview at like conventions in like 2016, 2017. And so anyways, it's been a really, really long time that this game has been in development and it's finally here. If you don't know what the game is, it's a exploration action RPG with a fox with a sword. And so anyways, this is my first impressions of it. I'm going to go ahead and check it on out and hopefully give you my thoughts as we play. Hopefully that commentary can help you decide whether or not this game is for you or not. You can look down below in the description if you wanted to find a link and take a look at all the various assets that they have available on Steam or download the game. And then aside from that, down below in the description, you'll also be able to find a link to my Discord and my Twitch stream where you're more than likely to... You're more than welcome. Well, not more than likely. More than likely is the wrong word. You are more than welcome to join me and come say hello in real time. Let's go ahead and start a new game because we got about 25 minutes to kill and a lot of ground to cover. Okay, so we woke up on a shore, Link's Awakening style. Let's go ahead and push through some of the tall grass. Nice feedback. I actually like the way that looks. Nice little bit of feedback when you walk through the tall grass right there. All right, I am playing with a controller today. That's the first thing that I'm going to throw out there. Uh, the game's keyboard controls by default use WASD to move and then basically JKLOP and all that stuff. So it's two hands on keyboard. You guys know that my personal preference is never to go two hands on keyboard. And so I tend to avoid it. So I'm using a USB Xbox controller right now. So any keybinds that I relay to you are, of course, going to be in that sort of nomenclature. But, you know, figured it was a disclosure that was probably wise to go with. Okay, yeah, I don't read that language, so I don't know what that says. However, this place looks like it's on fire. So let's go in here. It's a sword, isn't it? Oh, it's a stick. Okay. Do I have to learn a new language before I can speak it? Uh, it looks like I may have to. All right. Well, let's go ahead and throw that on the old X button, I guess. Yeah, so I've got some basic stick-smacking skills. Looks like we can't chop down bushes with a stick. That makes sense, because bushes are made out of sticks. And, like, two materials that are the same material tend to not destroy one another. That is a, that is a scientific fact that I'm relaying to you right now with a wink in my eye and a smirk on my mouth. Uh, it looks like there's a secret over here, so I'm going to go take a look. It looks like maybe we got to be able to chop down these bushes before we can get over here. Let's head on back then, and we'll get onto the path proper and see if we can find some adventure around. Enemies, are you up here? Am I going to have to beat you with a stick? What are you? Oh, that's an enemy. Okay. All right, fair enough. I thought we were going to make friends with it, dude. It was kind of cute and gloopy. I thought we were going to hang out. I thought we were going to watch Netflix. I don't know. It turned into a violent, brawling conflict faster than expected. Somebody's locked their door up over there. The hero's grave is on that side. Okay, so we got to find the key to the hero's grave. Gotcha. I'll keep an eye out for any nondescript keys that are laying about. Uh, there's a treasure chest right here. Can I fall off the edge? I cannot fall off the edge. Okay, I was just going to try to drop down to it, but I guess that's not an option. I'm going to go ahead and... Ow! Okay, all right. The big blue ones are slightly scarier than the little white ones. Gotcha. Little pink ones? I actually can't really discern what color they are. What does this say? The town. All right. Mm, I'm going to need some health pickups pretty soon. I've been uh, doing my best not to get smacked here, but unfortunately, smackination has happened all about my head, neck, and shoulders. So unfortunately, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need the game to relax a little bit. This is not that serious. We are in the opening section of the game, and I am wielding a stick. What did that do? Oh, it's like a bonfire. Okay, they did say that there was going to be Souls-like influences with this game. It's tagged as a Souls-like on Steam, so... Um, okay. Oh, is that the key to the hero's grave? I bet you it is. All right, we're going to take that back to the hero's grave. That allows us to scout down below where it looks like there's a number of heavily armed, laser-eyed crypto bears. All right, fair enough. Uh, let's head on back to the door. At the door, a singular slime stands between us and eternal glory. Let us go forth and gather it. What is that thing? 
What, what does that do? Um, okay. Beginning your adventure. Ringing the East Bell. So we've got the East Forest, the Hero's Grave, and the Guard Captain. The West Bell requires us to go to the Old House, the Flooded Well, the Dark Tomb, and the West Garden. And we're currently on page 10. It's got references to those other locations, but actually I sort of dig what they've got going on here. So we've got health points, stamina points, and we've got magic points. Okay, I knew about the health and stamina. We do have potions. We can focus our view. Okay. So it looks like we're going to be like collecting pages of an old Nintendo manual. That's what the artistry reminds me of right there. Oh no, dude. Somebody jacked our hero blade, man. I'm going to be stuck beating people with a cudgel for the rest of my life. I can just tell. All right. Well, I suppose there's worse fates. You could be the guy getting beat with a cudgel for the rest of your days. So, you know, <laughs> you always got to look at the bright side. Always look at the bright side of life. ba doop ba doop ba doop ba doop All right, slimes. Let's get rowdy. I do like that the money automatically pools and gathers to the player. It's got natural suction. I do enjoy games where it lays on the ground as well and you run through and you get like a satisfying like ting 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 while you're running around. Well, you know, simultaneously. Oh, hello. It's monies. All right. Big old chest full of pirate gold. I don't know that it's pirate gold. I'm just going to kind of like improvise that it's pirate gold. It doesn't look like we can go left. I think that's totally blocked off, but to the right. It looks like we've got the East Forest, so that explains why on that little note page the East Forest was listed first and uh, the hero's thing was, you know, relayed second. Um, yeah, just keep, like, swinging. Ah, we got another page over here. Hold on, I gotta break some pots, though. A lifetime spent playing Zelda games has taught me that all of the good stuff is inside pots. You gotta stack those rupees so that you can buy a wallet with all of your rupees so that you can stack more rupees to buy another wallet with all of your rupees. That's how this works. Okay, so this has our basic default controls. Fair enough. And then on this side, it looks like we've got a dodge roll. I'm kind of curious that, like, as we're finding these pages, is it unlocking the requisite language? Like, when am I going to become literate? Like, I know that this is a quest for a little foxy guy to go and get himself a sword, but I feel like we should start with literacy. Like, I don't think that literacy is a major criteria for being a hero, but I do think that literacy will help. It will lubricate the cogs. All right, so we've saved up at this bonfire right here. Let's hope that there's nothing too bad and terrible. Oh, the East Forest. We found our way. I am sort of curious about what was up the other way, and in fact, I can feel my gamer regret right now ringing in my ears. Being like, why didn't you, what, the well is asking me a question? Okay. Oh my god. Okay, fair enough. Oh god! Oh, they're so aggressive. Okay, alright, fair enough. Oh my god, this is escalating so quickly. Alright, alright. I gotta, I gotta get dodgier. I have to, I have no choice. Wow, those things absolutely smoked me. I'm gonna go back to the bonfire real fast and see if I can't master this fight for a minute. Get used to just sort of like the flow and the tempo of the fight and then we'll carry on because if it's gonna escalate from here, I don't really want to bore you guys by getting starched for the next 30 minutes. Like if I get ironed out and lamped, I'm just gonna be embarrassed. Okay, I think I've kind of got it down. I don't actually know if the dodge roll in this game confers any iframes. Uh, just an observation from refighting that last fight a couple times since it was the first one that was a little bit tougher where the enemies actually like pose a threat and don't get stunned when you hit them and whatnot. Um, I, I just kind of played around with it and I'm not totally sure if you actually get iframes out of your dodge in this game. So what I've been doing is just very careful poking and prodding while I fight with these guys. And what does that say? The hero's grave is that way. Sounds good. I want to go check out, like, this little hallway, though. Maybe there's something good inside of here. Uh, nope, nothing good. Just a whole bunch of rowdy combat, and I'm probably going to get consumed by fluids. It definitely feels as though fluidity is going to have a negative effect on me here. There's going to be some very aggressive pruning happening. All right, let's go up this way. We'll deal with this little... I don't even know what it is, man. I have no clue what this thing is. Frankly, it terrifies me. I just... I keep swinging and hoping that it dies and then, you know, getting hit in the face, basically. Took a little bit of a scuffing right there. Wish it had gone a little bit better, but of course, we don't focus on our regrets. We move forward. 
And there's a few more of them over here. And I feel like this is where it is gonna get spicy. These double fights right here. Definitely a bit more of a challenge. Now, you only have the health display on the enemies when you have them targeted. However, we are earning ourselves a nice little treasure chest right here if we can withstand the rigors of combat. So let's see what we've got. Anything good? Uh, we've got a health potion is what it looks like to me. And so we can actually imbibe. There we go. So not only are we adventuring inside the dark, dangerous forest, we are drinking heavily. I'm going to, in my head cannon, imagine that that's some kind of rosé or maybe some kind of pleasant strawberry Moscato. And we're just going to knock it back. And then we're going to feel right as a num-num. Nobody ever feels worse after champagne. That's all that I'm saying. Champagne fixes everything. Champagne is like a jet ski. Like, what jet skis are to vehicles, champagne is to liquor. All right? Like, jet skis are unabashedly the most fun of vehicles. Whereas, like, champagne is also unabashedly, like, the most fun of the drinkable fluids. And we've got another chest over here. Let's go ahead and gather it. This one's got a bunch of swords next to it. Maybe it's a sword. Can I stop hitting things with a stick? Uh, we've got a nondescript fruit-like object. It looks like it refilled my flask. So I'm okay with that. I do like that the character carries around the flask until you whip out another item. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll take this. So they're telling me about target locks. Absolutely love these little Nintendo guidebook, basically. I think even, I think in the case, it's supposed to be modeled after Super Nintendo because that's what the shape of the page reminds me of. Okay. Apparently we have stability, which means that if we get hit while below like a certain threshold, bad things happen. Oh boy. There we go. Let's get him. Let's 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 get a little bit of let's get a little bit of heat going here. Well, maybe you do get an iframe. frame. It's hard to say. Alright, we got one down, and these guys got like a much better paycheck than the previous foes that we've managed to take down. Can I just... Okay, it's not gonna let me... I was just gonna loot the chest like an animal. Oh, they hit harder too. I wanted to see what happened if I just took the hit and got aggressive. There we go. Very nice stuff. I don't even know how many coins I have at this point. I probably could have tricked those dudes into chopping down these bushes right here so that we could get up a little bit higher. In retrospect, that feels like an activity that probably would have been condoned, but like, ah, what are you going to do? All right, back down. We'll deal with that later. Is there anything down this way? I am liking kind of the exploratory feeling of the game where there are like branching paths and like places you can go to get extra boons and extra equipment that are very easily skippable, like if you just stay on the main path, and so that's good. A little bit of variety never harmed a game. Uh, we can't get through right there, so yeah, I'm thinking until we have a sword, there's going to be a lot of paths that unfortunately are not going to go anywhere. It does feel a little bit like I'm being funneled at the moment, and I've got to keep like a mental catalog of all these fun things that we're leaving behind so that I can come back later. But honestly, I've always enjoyed that kind of progression in a game. Like, I don't... What is... What is... What do, what do you do? Okay, so you do... Ow! It is very difficult to get multiple swings off right now. I don't know if later weapons are going to be a little bit faster. Yeah, I was worried that was going to happen. Is he going to be waiting for me right here? Does he get a health restorative? I need a health restorative. Forget him. I need one. All right, so he's still back here. He does get a restorative. So I think we're just going to kind of poke and prod a little bit until we get him. There we go. He's been taken care of. Uh, let's swing around this way since rogue bushes are in the way. And I don't feel like dealing with debouches. Ow. Dude, I am pushing a dodge button right now. Why is there no dodge happening? I don't think you can actually break the frames on your attack animation is really what it comes down to. So, like, if you go in for a swing, you got to complete, like, the whole thing. So I keep going in for, like, these little love taps and then a dodge away. But, yeah, you can't break the animation till. Pretty much the yellow goes away is what it looks like to me. Oh, you also have to be holding a direction. Okay, so that might have been what's getting me in trouble right there. If you don't have a direction held down on your analog stick, uh, the dodge does not go off. So there's no back step or anything else like that to kind of save you. Uh, we'll kind of fall back here. Get a little love tap right there. 
little love tap right there, but man, we are beat up right now. We take one hit and it's gonna be goose eggs for us. I didn't know how you know whether or not he's gonna go for the double swing if it's just based on like proximity or if the wind up animation was slightly different. Yeah, I think it's based on proximity. So if you try to go in after he swings, he follows up with another one and then leaves like a big opening right there. Okay, um, I would, can I have another one of those little nondescript fruits we were talking about? I'm kind of like not feeling so great right now. There are parts of me falling out of me right now that I do not think are supposed to be falling out of me. And we used our big boy muscles on that one. I don't know if I could have done that. Can we go up and over now? Or to, okay, I got to go back around. Back around we go. Boss fight. Oh, the hero sword, dude. All right. Yes, I loot the sword because I'm tired of hitting things with a tree. I'm tired of hitting things with a tree's leg, okay? It's not working out for me. Uh, it was left shoulder button. We'll go ahead and throw that right there. I don't know if there's any like, oh, dude, we can finally cut down bushes. Sweet. And if we take the path back, I assume that the attack power is probably going to be a little bit better on this bad boy, too. Very much liking the soft lighting effects that they've been using. They look really, really good. Uh, we got a bunch of money. Fair enough. Eventually, I will go to the village and I will spend my bush begotten gains for now, though. I think we just carry on. Okay, so it looks like the bushes don't give us any kinds of treasures or monies or anything. However, if I could isolate for myself another flask, maybe get a little bit stronger, get a little bit more tougher, I think that's something I'd be into. Over here, we like flat out couldn't bypass this, so let's go ahead and mow the lawn for a second. Uh, we've got ourselves what looks like maybe a firebomb? Possibly? Okay, so what does that do? Oh, it's just a healing fruit. Okay, sounds good. Is there anything down here? Uh, many, many enemies is the answer to that question. However, I do feel more confident about our health status right now. This is a bit of a small arena to fight these guys in. We do hit somewhat harder to my eye. Uh, the sword seems to do about double the damage of a stick. Is there something back here? This looks like a secret. Hold on, what is this? Bruh. Alright. I love games that have little, like, oh. Uh, I, I love games that have little secret holes like that. That's probably a mana potion, maybe? It's the right color. It's kind of hard to tell because my character can't read. I'm guessing when we get to the village, we're going to be able to, like, have somebody teach us how to read or something. So this is the lower forest. It looks like some, I bet we get, like, a, maybe, like, a, like, a hook shotgun that puts ropes across that we can swing to or something. That's what it kind of looks like to me. Let's carry on back. We, there's a lot of places to explore, so we might as well open world it up and see if we can find anything fun. I also feel kind of interested in going back and just kind of restoring my health and getting my flask refilled. I just, I, I feel nervous when I'm out of healing charges. I'm not a big, uh, I don't have any healing charges left kind of guy. In the meantime, we did have this ladder over here. So in the interest of just being as completionist as possible, I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, this sword is way stronger than the stick, especially, yeah, that third, that third attack right there where he thrusts. That one's got some sting to it. There we go. Knock him back. Let him have a little bit of the smoke. What else we got around here? We got another big key door thing. I like that mechanism. If you look at the little cog wheel right there, there's no clipping. The cog wheel actually perfectly adheres to the contours 
of the key latch that it's moving. I like that. That's very, very careful attention to detail. A lot of developers, they just let it clip and be like, eh, it's a minor thing in a game that, like, very few people are going to notice anyways. I I'm sort of odd in that regard where I'm the kind of guy that sees stuff like that. Looks like a piece of a broken flask. So more than likely, we've got to collect, like, X number of flasks. And then we will be able to craft a new one so that we can heal multiple times per level. There's another key thing right here. I almost didn't see it just because of the similarities in color. Oh, it opened up a ladder and like a loop back maybe? That's exactly what it did. Okay, cool. No. Bad slime. No. Get away from me. Don't touch me. Mm-hmm. You're gross. Organisms should be solids. That's just, that's how I feel about it. I'm open to being convinced that organisms should be fluids, but for right now, as a non-fluid organism who is unabashedly and unapologetically solid, I destroy you on behalf of my people. All right, so wait, is that a key right there too? Oh, it kind of looked like, okay. What's down this right? Oh, dude, there was a secret right here and we walked right past it. Dude, I am loving how this game just has, like, loads of squirrel holes where things are hidden. That's the kind of stuff that gets me going in a game. Okay. Yeah, that's something that really gets me hooked on a game. Like, so there's obvious, clear level design here. Like, the levels are made for you to progress from point A to point B. However, there are a lot of subpoints and a lot of asterisks where you can kind of just get, like, lost in the game world and fiddle around with stuff. And I enjoy that tremendously. Now, over here, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to go back uh, because the ladder fell down. And so it looks like we don't have the capability to push it back up. And so I think we actually have to go forward. Now, what that means and where we're going to be going, I'm not super sure. But let me take a look around. I'm going to clear the level out and we'll see what I may have missed during our, our first combing of the East Forest. Oh, it looks like there might be a little path right here, too. There is indeed... Okay, nice little opening combo. Oh, he's got a shield. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I think you do get iframes. It's just like they're very, very tight. Keeps getting that shield up just in time. There we go. I got him. Who is this big dude? Okay, he's got a spear. All right, fair enough. Yeah, my guess was... Oh, God. Okay. All right. He hits hard. Uh, he's kind of horrifyingly strong. Oh, you just can't hit that. Okay, so you just can't hit the shield afterwards. You just got to get your one poke and just kind of, like, deal with him. I'm going to give him another run. Oh. Okay. I've entered the foxy afterlife. I think I can take that guy. Like, I think I can take him. At the bare minimum, I gotta go back and get my nickels because they done been lost. So, I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, there's my totaled dead body right there, unfortunately. Nothing like the proof in the pudding of one getting starched. Drink that real fast. I'm going to let you do your thing, because big shield guy, you have begun to annoy me. All right, so you. I just I just want my souls. That's all that I want, is I just want to get my souls back. I don't care about... Oh, his shield dropped. Okay, is he going to get more aggressive? Oh, God. Okay, all right. I just wanted my money back, dude. I just wanted my lunch money. That's all that I wanted. I didn't even want a beef like this. I don't understand why you've got such a serious addiction to impalement, man. Do you not see how adorable and plushy-like I am? I don't know. When I see adorable, plushy-like things, I don't want to impale them. That's not my first, that's not my first response. 
Alright, well let's explore the lower forest, since obviously my capabilities have not yet risen to the challenge of that, that big, badass impaler guy. Uh, spiders? Oh, that's probably not great. Oh my god. Okay, alright. Uh, I hate everything about what's happening here. I am deeply offended by the amount of arachnids that are currently trying to eat my face. I have killed one, though. I have killed two. And we have done it while taking no hits. Woo, that was a close one, though. I probably shouldn't have... I, I probably... That, that one was a little bit... You know, I had to... I felt that one whistle. All right. Got him corner trapped, obviously censored for violence behind the trees. And we've got some kind of firecrackers, some kind of like peppermint bomb. Okay. Listen, everybody's a gangster till the lollipop guild shows up. That's all that I'm saying. Everybody's a thug until the lollipop guild got something for them. One of those random roadside peppermint bombs. Like, it smells so refreshing, but it burns so painfully. <laughs> uh, can I do anything with those? Like, I don't know what this stuff is. I've got six of these, so I don't feel too bad about just, like, throwing one to see what happens. Oh, so this is just a loop back to the forest. Okay. Okay. So it's like a little secrety secret path. Gotcha. Guess we'll check this northern path and see where this goes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn, dude! That was so effective. So this is like some kind of cloven tablet. Okay. I obviously don't have the utility that gets me through there. I wonder how much the bombs will help out with dealing with the big shield guy up here. Like, can I just, like, cheese my way through it with explosives? If at first you don't succeed, try another stick of dynamite. Let's find out. Alright, sir. This is my dynamite. I ask that you enjoy it. Sweet. Oh, how'd he get through? Wait, where did you even come from? Did you just glitch over from the other map? Okay, my man's breaking the fourth wall right now. In the pursuit. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let him be. But you gotta leave a survivor. That's the first step to becoming a fox tyrant. Is that you've gotta leave at least one survivor to tell the story. Oh, cool, more fire pots. Okay, so I spent like four dynamite to get two fire pots. Fair enough. Wait, there's something down there. Oh, is there a hole in the wall right there? I bet you there is, right where that little grass path is, dude. I'm having so much fun with the exploration right now. I actually, I didn't expect, like, there are so many games that are tagged as exploration on Steam, and then they turn out to be like a visual novel where you just, like, pick dialogue options. Like, things are so frequently mislabeled on Steam that just, I have become accustomed to getting bamboozled over and over and over again like a chump. And so it's so nice to actually load into a game that has itself tagged as exploration, action RPG, Souls-like, and actually has all of those parts. It really sincerely does. Like, it has all those things. Like, despite its adorable appearance, the game is quite deadly. Like, you get hit really, really hard uh, when you do take a smoking. And so anyways, I, I dig that about it, though. Like, it's got sort of this cutesy art style and veneer, but make no mistake, the game is actively out for your scalp. And I sort of dig that about it. Did I go down here? I'm losing track of where I have been and where I have not been. A couple of coins. I mean, we have the sword, so maybe we should go back to the village and just look around? Now, despite the fact that I would very much like to go back to the village, I don't actually know the way. Uh, the guard captain. Okay, is he just like a big version of the other deadly teddy bears that want to hurt me? Oh my god, he is. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Uh, yeah, have a bomb. I would like to drink my potion. Oh god. He had something for me.
I gotta get my stamina back. I'm gonna hide behind this wall. He can't do anything untoward. He can't do anything untoward towards me as long as I'm behind this wall. This wall right here. This is my this is my wall of safety. No! Oh my god, we're so close. We're so close. Got him! Whew. Okay, I got stressed for a minute, alright? I got stressed for like a second. I thought, you know, we were good, but then all my health was gone after getting hit like once. And so then I started to doubt myself and think like, okay, maybe I'm not good right now. Maybe I'm like, you know, maybe I'm done in Krugering out right now, you know, and, and maybe, maybe I have miscalculated the situation. Oh, thank God, a second life flask. Oh God, put it in my mouth. All right, so we got some stairs over here. I'm hoping this loops back so that I can go spend my money in the village and become literate. It, it's a weird thing to bother me, but it bothers me that my character is illiterate, okay? Normally, I wouldn't get caught up on little dots and tittles like this, but for whatever reason, not being able to read all the stuff the game is trying to tell me, I have made learning to read my most very highest priority. Does it look like there's something behind that wall right there? Hmm. Hmm. Please don't explode. Good news, everybody. They don't explode. We verified that barrels in this game that are kind of reddish colored. I don't know. They're kind of like a brownish orange. But either way, dude, we have verified that it doesn't blow us up. Well, so far, we've been playing Tunic, and it's been about the 30 minutes allotted. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games. <gasps> we learned words. Okay, I think this is kind of like ringing the bell tower after you kill the dual gargoyles in in Dark Souls. I think we may have accomplished a game task, uh, but the game feels great. I feel like they've got really good hit feedback. There are iframes. I verified it off camera. Basically, I threw away a couple lives just kind of dodge rolling while people were shooting projectiles at me. And I did find that there is an iframe in there. It's just a slim iframe. Like, you've got to get used to it. It's a tight iframe. Uh, but other than that, movement feels good. Dodging feels good. Uh, the game, despite being adorable, is quite deadly, which I actually appreciate. Okay, we found fox cocaine. Right on, man. Uh, but aside from that, everything feels very, very well crafted. I was a little bit worried going into this blind that the game was going to be in development for, like, a long, long time since I was, like, a baby YouTuber. And I was going to get to play it, and I was going to be like, oh, I find myself disappointed and underwhelmed. But with all the exploratory aspects and the general care that's been given to the hit feedback and the preciseness of the combat and the hitboxes, I'm actually having a good time right now, and I'm looking forward to playing it more. Uh, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we are playing Tunic. Tomorrow we'll be playing something else. There's a pretty good chance that when this video goes live, I'll stream it on the day that it goes live because I'm actually having a lot of fun right now. So anyways, if you wanted to see a longer dive, make sure you swing on through and I'll get you set up with a 3-4 hour stream. But other than that, it's time for me to go and bid you adieu. So adieu, everybody.